Hello Confetti Club, it is Pixie, and today's video is a little bit of a different one, but I really, really want to make it. Um, I was inspired to do this because I stumbled across a couple of kind of kawaii like themed creators and YouTubers and Instagrammers, and I was just appalled that they do not have more subscribers or followers because they put so much effort into their work and it is so beautiful and professional. And I was like, what? What? What is going on? So this video is going to be a big love fest to uh, 10 kawaii creators um, that I think really deserve way more love. So I know I still am a small creator, putting that out there in YouTube terms, like I am nothing. Anything under like 500,000 really isn't a lot in like big YouTube terms, but I still think it's a lot in my little heart. So this may not help a ton, um, but I do want to give these people a shout out and give them some love and just maybe you guys can find some more kawaii creators that you love. First on this list is definitely Synth Pop Circus on um, YouTube and also Instagram. She is Synth Pop Sammy. Yes, Synth Pop Circus on YouTube and Synth Pop underscore Sammy on Instagram. Oh my god, this girl puts so much love and effort into her work and it is so beautiful. Like the quality is gorgeous. The editing is on point. Her Instagram feed is like to be marveled at and her YouTube channel is just gorgeous. The branding is wonderful. The content is wonderful. The editing is on point. Um, I just love her. I think I found her through some of our like Party K Facebook groups. And oh my gosh, I just love her stuff. She's amazing. This is definitely an example of someone who puts their all into their work and really cares and is really, really good at it. So please go give Sammy some love. I will link everyone down below. So Synth Pop Circus and Synth Pop Sammy on Instagram. This next creator is an Instagram account, the Cali O or Otaku Apparel. What a freaking sweetie pie. I love you so much. Um, her Instagram is just amazing. I found her, I think also through the same Facebook group, um, and she runs a really awesome store called Otaku Apparel, which I may or may not be doing another video on soon when things come in the mail. <laughs> Um, it's just gorgeous. I love her work so much and I love her photos as well. Um, she's just such a good example for like everything the kawaii community needs. Um, she has a lot of like black pride stuff in her store as well as lots of magical girl goods and cute little dolly themes. So her Instagram is the period Cali period O um, and I think she also has another one. And the Instagram for Otaku is O-T-A-Q apparel. Ah, everything's so freaking sweet. I can't wait to do the video on your stuff. It's just gorgeous and I'm so excited. Definitely someone who is hustling and putting their all into their work and just lives and breathes kawaii and pastel and creative fashion. So I love you. Go give her a peep down below as well. This next one is a friend of mine. Um, Dollhouse unboxings on YouTube. Again, the effort, the quality, the love, the attention to detail, and the branding is so good. You deserve so much more, baby. You may know her as Pastel Cutie on, I think, Tumblr and uh, Instagram, maybe. Um, I know she has other accounts as well, but um, I really want to shine a light on her YouTube channel, which is Dollhouse Unboxings. Um, I think she started it semi sort of kind of recently, and it's just so cute. She does a lot of toy unboxings. She just hit uh, like a thousand subscribers, so that is really nice, but I think we can do better. I think we can show her some confetti love. Love you, Angel. She does a lot of really cool makeup looks that are just like adorable. And also is a good advocate for kawaii girls with chronic illness, so go show Angel some love. Okay, this is another Instagram account that is like way too beautiful to be true. Okay, literally, excuse me? My Instagram will never be this beautiful. Love Emily Jane on Instagram. Oh my gosh, I think you only have Instagram. I don't want to like miss promoing another thing, but like, oh my gosh, the feed is so on point. You 
are so cute everything is beautiful and rainbow everything has like the same perfect filter the feed is just gorgeous i can't i can't cope it's so good i don't know what else to say it's just beautiful uh, again, someone who puts a lot of love and thought and effort and time into their work that deserves to be loved. Love Emily Jane on Instagram. Go give a smooch. Another super duper cute YouTube kawaii creator is Alice Daydream on YouTube. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Just this soft little baby from the Netherlands. Um, her videos are in English for the most part, I believe. And it's just so cute and sweet. Uh, she does a lot of like makeup looks and that sort of thing. Go give some love for our international kawaii creators. She is a lovely one. Another YouTube creator with criminally not enough subscribers is Lady Martha Chen. I think she's definitely like similar to me in vibe. Um, super duper cute stuff. Really cute intro. Very cute vibe. And just like, oh my god, she deserves so much more love. Like, so many of her videos have, like, under 50 views. What? Can we fix this, please? I think you're doing a great job, and I think you deserve a lot more love and hugs and kisses. I made a post saying, like, hey, I want to make a video uh, shining light on smaller kawaii creators on the internet, and someone commented her, and so I checked her out, and uh, the first video I saw was her tattoo story, where she actually mentions me, which is really cute, um, because she got a thigh tattoo, and um, our stories are pretty similar so I immediately felt this like connection to her and felt like we were like long lost sisters destined to meet so go give Lady Martha Chan some love. Another creator that was mentioned to me on that post is Heather Sparkles on YouTube. Oh my gosh, again, the effort, the love, the branding is so good. She is just so, so, so cute and definitely is like regularly uploading. Oh my God, one day ago, one day ago, two days ago, three days ago, five days ago. Girl, the hustle is real. You're doing amazing. She is so cute. I've seen her photos online too. Just being the cutest little fluffiest fairy K girl in the world. Um, yeah, I, I love you. I love your channel. Um, I think you guys would really like her a lot. She has a lot of videos. Oh my god, this is going back like seven months ago, eight months ago. Yeah, I, she definitely has the most videos out of the people I've mentioned, so if you're looking for a new person to like binge and like really like get obsessed with, Heather Sparkles. Another really cute creator is Kawaii Katie or Katie Straub, I hope I'm saying your name right, um, on YouTube and Instagram. I've seen her as well around popping around on the Facebook groups. You're just so cute. Again, puts a lot of love into what she does. Again, the branding is wonderful. Every thumbnail has the same kind of font and text. Very important. Very good. Ooh, you did some Japan vlogs. <gasps> you did a pretty cure haul. How did I not see that? <gasps> okay, um, I know what I'm doing after I finish filming this is watching your freaking Akihabara vlog and your freaking pre cure haul, Katie. Oh my god, everything's so cute. She definitely has more like nerdy kind of culture intertwined as well with the Pokemon and the Pusheen and the Tokidoki and the Studio Ghibli and the Miku. So is that Miku or am I terrible? That is Miku. Okay. I will not have my weeb card revoked today, no sir. So yeah, if you're really into that sort of thing, definitely. She's a good hybrid of like kawaii and geek culture, as we all love. Okay, this girl was also suggested to me on that post, and her thumbnail game is so strong. Um, she is Rachel Pinku on YouTube and boo 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 pastel horror on Instagram. And oh my gosh, everything is just so beautifully like streamlined and in the same vein like when you open all of her videos it's just like a gorgeous mishmash of wonderful pastels and sparkles it's just so pleasing to look at and her instagram is just equally adorable there's like fluffy pink heart filters on everything you're just the cutest hey i have that dress hee <laughs> hee we're twinning oh you must be in the uk because you were at like hyper japan and lazy oaf Oh, I'm so jealous. Everything cool is in the UK. So yes, lots and lots of love to Pastel Horror on Insta slash Rachel Pinku on YouTube. Go give a smooch. And the last kawaii creator I really want to shine a spotlight on is Eleanor Medhurst. Medhurst? 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 I feel like you don't pronounce the H, but you might. 
and I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I first found her through her Instagram, which is just like so beautifully aesthetic. It's definitely kawaii, but also more on the like American side of things with a lot of lazy oaf and like uh, American brands, much like me. So if you like my stuff, you will probably like her stuff too. Um, did I say American? Lazy oaf is UK and so is a regular choice. I'm sorry, revoke my kawaii card. Everything is just so cute and wonderful and again like the aesthetic is very strong she obviously puts a lot of time and thought and effort into what she does um on instagram as well as youtube her youtube thumbnails are like so beautiful and i wish mine looked like that so please go give some love to all of those people down below tell them that i sent you give them a good big festive confetti club hello um i just really wanted to make this video because it like hurts my heart seeing people putting so much time and love and effort i feel like i've said that a hundred times time and love and effort and thought into what they do and just like really not having the numbers that they deserve and is everything about numbers no 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 it's not however i think we can show a little bit more love it's always nice to have um people kind of see what we make and appreciate it and comment on it and it's nice to get feedback so are numbers everything? No. Is it nice to have people to share your love with? Yes, absolutely. So that's what this video is about. This video's Fuji Confetti Club member is Cherry Bunny on Instagram, looking so cute in the throw kindness around like confetti tea. I was dumb and I was forgetting to check the actual Future Confetti Club member tag for a little bit and it was just going in people who had tagged me. So I have like a backlog of people in my actual merch, which was the original point of Future Confetti Club member. So if you took a picture of you in my merch, get ready for my love. <laughs> I'm sorry. We have Cherry Bunny here looking so cute. So, so, so cute. And the throw kind is around like confetti tea. Oh my God, I just want to be your friend. You're adorable. Thank you so much. You got it for Christmas. That warms my heart to think that someone like wrapped that up and like put it under a tree or like brought it to a coffee shop to like exchange gifts. Like, oh my God, I just, oh, I have so many feelings. You're so sweet. Thank you so, so much, Cherry. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video, which is not this one because this one is over. Bye.